I definitely started on the wagon, for sure started on the wagon, fell off, a lot of stuff happened in between, got back on, and then bought one jean size smaller. Let's always focus on the positive. Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my weight loss series. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome again. I'm Stella, I am a Washington DC based flight attendant. I travel the world, I take you with me here on my YouTube channel. It's been a few months since I've done a video for my weight loss series updating you guys on my weight loss journey. I guess I thought it would just be like a straight path to like the top of success mountain, but it definitely hasn't been a straight shot. It's been zigzaggy, it's been up and down. Definitely is not a trail or a road paved out for that wagon to just go straight up. The one thing that I have been really proud of the past few months is I have not given up. I see like the end goal at the top of Success Mountain, but it's taken me a little bit longer to get to the top of that mountain. I'm not even halfway there yet, but I am on my way. I see it up there, I am on my way. Way. I have not given up. I am not going to give up. I am still trying no matter how many times I fall, I am getting back up. So a few weeks ago, I went to the store and I had to buy new jeans and I was terrified. Like who else is terrified of buying jeans? Jeans are just like not forgiving. They are going to tell you what is going on. They're going to tell you your true size. They are not going to lie to you like workout pants, like leggings, like sweatpants can like bend the truth a little bit, but not jeans, not jeans. So I was terrified to like go into the store. I went in, I told the lady what I was looking for. I was looking for like looser fitting jeans because I heard that uh, legging type jeans, tight fitting jeans aren't in anymore, like the more looser fit are in. So I was like, okay, I'm looking for that. And this is my size. Kind of looked at me and was like, I don't think that's your size. I think you are a different size. And I was like, great. Like in my mind, I'm like, great. Am I like bigger? Is this like a store for like tiny people? Like what is going on here? And so she pulled a few sizes for me. And when I looked at the jean size, it was a few sizes smaller than my normal size. And I was just like, oh no, 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 this is not my size. No, 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 I, 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 I'm this size. I need this size. She was like, just try them on very hesitant. I went into that dressing room. I tried them on actually two sizes smaller than my normal jean size did fit me, but I just wasn't ready to go there yet. I wanted a little bit of wiggle room. So I did just buy one size smaller, even just trying one jean size smaller, like staring at myself in the dressing room. It's like hard to explain. It's like bottled up. It's like, it's like excitement and just like disbelief. And it's all like these emotions and your heart gets like pounding. And when I go to the store and I get to buy a jean size smaller, it could have gone two sizes, but just went one. It just like revalidates like all the effort that I am putting into this, even though it hasn't been a straight line to the top, it's been like this. It really validates that effort that I have been putting into it. I do contribute going down a jean size and just feeling stronger overall to something new that I have been trying. The next portion of this vlog is sponsored by Delta Trainer. So Delta Trainer is a personal fitness app. It pairs you with a personal trainer. It's 100% remote and like 100% on your schedule. You start off with an initial call with your trainer. My trainer trainer was Grace and she was so awesome. She was there for me even when I didn't want to be there for myself. You guys kind of talk about what your goals are, what you're struggling with, how often you can work out, what your schedule is like. You basically set up a very specific workout plan for you and for what you were trying to achieve. So even though I'm not physically at a gym and I don't have Grace, my trainer here with me, I still feel like I'm getting such a good workout. Like this is hard. This is challenging. I'm also still on my first month of doing this. So I'm still trying to like learn my breathing and everything. Okay. I, ah, hip thrust, hip thrust you guys. 
The app works with your Apple phone. So when you're actually working out, you're wearing your, your watch and it's tracking your heart rate. It's tracking like your movement. It's tracking when you stop and pause and take a break. And then all that information gets sent to your trainer. Thanks, Stella. Enjoy the rest of your day. Who then analyzes it and then gets back to you and says, you know, great job, Stella. You did really good in this portion. Let's focus on this. Your range of motion was great. You're not just working out by yourself. You have that personal feedback that is specific to what you did on your workout. You can also communicate with your trainer if the workout is too hard or if it was too easy or if it was just right. You can work out when it's convenient for you. I know I, st I went back to being a flight attendant a few months ago and my schedule was just like all all over the place and my trainer worked with me. There was a few times where I missed workouts and she was right there like messaging me like, hey Stella, I, I see you didn't complete that workout, no problem. Do you wanna move it today? Do we need to move it to another day? She, she didn't like just give up on me like, oh, you missed your workout, okay, whatever, let's go to next week. No, she was like, Stella, let's reschedule this workout. I would definitely recommend checking out Delta Trainer. It's honestly helped me. I have seen some amazing results that I'm really, really excited about. It is $59 a month and you do get right now a 14 day free trial, but that is limited for a two week limited period right now, you guys. So $59 a month and right now you get the 14 day free trial, but that is only good for two weeks right now. And the link is gonna be down below. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. You guys know that when I get excited about something, I like start sweating because I'm just like, I don't know, I'm a very excitable person. And when I get excited, I like start getting all hot. <laughs> So along with having such great success with Delta Trainer, I've also had a few other successes over the past few months that have really helped me with my weight loss journey. So number one, so random, I have gone back to work and I am walking a ton more and I'm not taking the air trains or the Skylinks. I am walking through the terminal, getting my steps, counting it on my watch here, like making sure I hit that 10,000 steps, which is really easy when you're a flight attendant because once you land at the airport, you're walking to your next terminal. And then sometimes if I have a little bit of sit time in between, which if you guys have seen my vlogs lately, you know I'm like, I have three hours sit time, you guys. I have four hours sit time. And a lot of the times when you get somewhere and you have like a three hour sit, your crew is like, oh, what are you doing? Are you going to ops? Are you gonna go get food? Like, I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna walk and touch the different corners of the airport and get my 10,000 steps. <laughs> I'm really just using that time to move as much as I can. Another success that I've had over the past few months, so success number two is my mental health has gone way up. I'm just, I'm so happy that I'm back at work. Being out of work and not being a flight attendant, something that I've loved for the past six years, I, it really, it, it, it brought me down. It was like, what is my purpose in life? Like, what am I doing if I'm not a flight attendant? I identified with being a flight attendant for so long that when that was taken away from me, I felt like, I felt a little bit lost. So now that I am back being a flight attendant, I am focusing on having balance. Like I'm not just identified as a flight attendant. I am a flight attendant, I love my job, but I'm finding balance in other things. I'm doing strength training to just get stronger, like physically and mentally. And I'm definitely trying to just keep a balance with everything. Like nothing is more important than something else. Like everything is balanced and in line. And my third success has been just toning up in general, incorporating weights into my workout is, is not really something I did before. I really just focused on a lot of cardio, a lot of walking, and now I'm incorporating weights into my workouts. And I like, I feel stronger. I feel stronger when I lift weights and I feel like when I'm out just doing normal things in life, I'm like, yeah, I can lift that. I can do that. Like I've been working out. I've been using weights. Weights just incorporated into my workout has really been a success for me just in my overall health journey. <laughs> definitely a lot of successes over the past few months, like having a trainer there on my side in my corner has just been amazing. Being able to go down a jean size has just been like the best thing ever, the best feeling ever. But with all of those successes, I have had a few challenges that I do 
want to just be honest with you guys and let you guys know. Number one being airport food. <laughs> now that I am back being a flight attendant, I am in the airports and while I'm doing my little walking tours, I definitely have been tempted by the airport food. When you're in the airport and you smell the fast food, you see everybody eating pizza or burgers. It's so hard to resist that temptation. So definitely a challenge that I've had is definitely been trying to eat healthy and stay away from the airport food. I've tried to pack my lunch a few times. I've tried to pack snacks, but I can't tell you guys how many times I've forgotten those things on the plane. <laughs> I just packed all these snacks and then I left it on the plane. I can try to recover it, but I won't, I, I definitely won't recover it if that plane has taken it off or if catering has already taken the carts off or emptied the trash, I won't be able to recover that food. So then I'm left on my trip with no food and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll just have a burger and some fries. Airplane food has been kryptonite and I'm trying to just resist. <laughs> Another random challenge that I've had is treats that crew has brought onto the plane or passengers have bought for flight attendants. The general public knows that most flight attendants, a lot of the aviation industry were furloughed, lost their jobs, uh, took voluntary leaves because the travel industry just stopped. It halted when all of this drama happened last year. So now that travel is coming back, passengers are like, oh, welcome back flight attendants. Here's a bag of candy. Here's some treats for you guys. It's amazing and it's so thoughtful and we're so appreciative for it. But I'm like, oh, I need to resist the treats. I need to resist the bag of candy or the donuts that a crew member bought. Like, welcome back for Louise. Here's a box of donuts. I'm like, hmm, hello, Dunkin' Donuts. I've definitely been challenged to stay away from the airport food and then also stay away from the treats that crew and passengers bring on board for us. Third challenge that has been very hard for me is eating late. With being back to being a flight attendant, my schedule is just, it's so insane. And sometimes I'll go all day, back to back flights, not being able to eat, and then I will get to the hotel at like 11.30 at night and be starving. At 11.30 at night, there's not much to eat at the hotel, so I go into like the little mini mart area and I see like a Hot Pocket that I can just microwave or, you know, some noodles or something. And I'm like, here I am in my hotel at midnight eating, you know, microwave noodles. <laughs> That's another reason why I'm trying to pack my lunch because then I can pack my lunch, eat on the plane, eat at my normal scheduled time and not be, you know, at midnight eating a burrito, a microwave burrito in my hotel room. <laughs> I guess my challenges for the past few months have all been related to my flight attendant schedule. Being tempted by bad food in the airport, eating treats that crew brings on board. Also eating late at night, eating, microwavable food in the hotel. That's my update. That is what has been going on. I've had some really, really good successes, been very excited about a lot of things. Also had a lot of challenges the past few months. These challenges definitely aren't going away. They are still there. More challenges are being packed on top daily. I still see my goal at the top of my like success mountain that I have built for myself. I still know where I want to be and I'm not going to give up. I'm, I'm just not like no matter how many times I fall down, fall off the wagon or get unmotivated, I am still going to pick myself up and still keep trying. If you guys are on a path like me, I definitely encourage you to not give up no matter what. Like, keep telling yourself, I am not going to give up. Like when you say these things, I feel like they become reality. So good luck to you guys. Good luck to me. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on my next video.